Could air-powered cars help reduce climate change? One company thinks they could. They've developed a motor car that runs on compressed air and is made almost entirely of local materials. I travelled to the south of France with WWF's resident car expert Gael Leopold to see if what I'd heard was really true. And sure enough, on an industrial estate near the town of Nice, I found the showroom. And inside were some of the prototype cars, ranging from urban runarounds, a convertible pickup, and even a spacious taxi. But would they catch on? Well, this is a, a very, um, you know, as comfortable as any, any other car. It's uh, slightly, the shape may be slightly different, but again, there are uh, reasons for that. Um, uh, you know, air compressed car will be quite similar to the one we are currently using, except that they will be completely uh, carbon, you know, free. Um, and uh, they would be more for probably uh, urban use at the beginning, but, you know, in the future they may develop new models for further distances. It's uh, quite nice. You have a lot of windows, so you can uh, look around. Uh, we have a better visibility than in a regular car. So far, so good. But did the technology actually work? It was time to put the air-powered car to the test. went without a hitch. So, could this be the world's first zero carbon car? One thing's for sure, with a retail price as low as just 3,500 euros, it perhaps goes to show that being green needn't cost the earth. For WWF One Planet News, this is Eduardo Gonçalves.